Next up is our top story for the evening and a local story from right here in Bethesda, Maryland. Most of you have heard of Imagination Stage, the largest multidisciplinary theater arts organization in the Mid-Atlantic region. Tomorrow, Cinderella the Remix will have its world premiere. But for this play, Imagination Stage is doing something different. I have with me in the studio our arts and culture reporter, Marley Adams. First off, what is this play even about? It's a modern version of Cinderella who dreams of being a DJ, but in the whole hip-hop Hollywood world that she lives in, girls aren't allowed. So basically, she dresses up as a boy to pursue this DJ dream. Very interesting. But for this production, Imagination Stage raised $150,000 to be able to bring 3,000 Maryland Title I third graders for free to see the show. Talk about that. Well, yes, they did, but it's not just a free ticket. Imagination Stage partnered up with Montgomery County Public Schools and came up with a whole pre- and post-show curriculum for the class, for the classroom, in addition to the free ticket and bus ride. Imagination Stage really wants to give more children access to the arts. They believe that the STEM, sub that the STEM subject should be extended to the arts as well. So by doing this project, they hope it will they hope it will help their learning in the STEM subjects as well as expanding their creativity. Wow, that's very interesting. So you worked on this story for months. How was it? Tell me. It was really fun. My subject was really interesting and the whole cast and crew really seemed interested in the sort of points that Cinderella the remix makes, like um, for example gender discrimination and they also seemed like really interested in creating a more creative and you know, kind of more fun version of the classic Cinderella story. Wow, so who were you primarily focused on in this experience? Well, I was focusing on the director, Salma Yeni24. Um, he was also the uh, screenwriter of this play. I gotta say, he was, you know, like really interesting. He really seemed to want to empower girls through this play. And he also um, really seemed to have a connection with the whole hip hop idea since it, you know, really connected towards his past. But yeah, it was really interesting interviewing him and learning what he does. Oh, all right, well that sounds great. Let's end our show tonight for, by watching your story. Thanks for tonight and see you tomorrow at 8 p.m. Cinderella, can I tell you a story? There once was a girl named Cinderella. Like it me? inspires people to see possibilities that they haven't seen before. It, it inspires people to, to dream beyond where they are right now. I think it's just as important and just as vital as food, clothing, and shelter. Like that's how important I believe art is. You see, and it's. So my name is Sama Yeni 24, and I'm the playwright and director for Cinderella the Remix. She creates it, and then you're like, yeah, I can, I can play it too, and I'll create, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, so Cinderella the Remix is the last installment of a trilogy of plays, three plays that explore the past, present, and future of hip hop. And thinking about what the future of hip hop could be, I said, well, as I see hip hop, I think hip hop can really be helped by having more girls involved. So I said to myself, well, what's a story that has a strong female character, Cinderella? Maybe you should uh, open up the audition to female DJs. First goal is really to inspire girls to really see hip hop as something that they can be a part of and to see it as a culture that they can express themselves freely. In hip hop Hollywood, the certain things that girls do not do, and DJing is one of them. Kids who come from a certain type of background or environment can really connect to is the fact that they're seeing a culture that was created in the inner city and seeing it uh, married with high art in ways that maybe they haven't seen before. So it sort of opens up a door inside of their mind to say, well, I can do what I love and I can do what comes naturally to me. Now. Is that closer to here or closer to there? Yes. What's your passport now? I've been working on this production for about two years. The production itself has five actors. Afterwards, but for now, let's have a good time. All let's right? just come back for a second. So, and then put your foot down. Like, this is where you shut this down. Look. Like, look, yeah. And then there's a 
pretty significant design team as well. So we have a lighting designer, we have a set designer, there's a costume designer, we have a video designer, we have a music designer, a composer, and we have a choreographer as well. Uh, this is for the folks in the place to be. My name is Jay. I always look to grow, I always look to try new things. Uh, so it just seemed like a fun thing to try and now I've actually fallen in love with directing. I mean I really love that part of the process and working with actors uh, and working with designers. I mean there's, there's a lot of work that a lot of people don't get a chance to see that happens before the production happens. So you sort of have to um, captain this, this ship and as an artist a lot of times if something scares you uh, that's a good sign that you may want to really consider doing it because it means that you're moving outside of your comfort zone. Whether you ride the train or a bus in India. Uh, I really want my plays to change the world and that may sound like a big, you know, a pie in the sky type type of thing. You are royalty every second, every hour. I do this in the spirit of women and girl power. But I think that if you can change the mind of one person, and you can actually change the world. Treat the girls right for the future's sake, or there's no way in sight for us to elevate.